bot lobby this, bot lobby that. Yes, I'm sure everybody out there is wondering how your favorite YouTuber is getting all these crazy bot lobbies, whether it be in Warzone, multiplayer, uh, well, Battle Royale, I, I don't know. It could be anything. What is good? What is happening, everybody? It's your boy Primitive AK here. We're back with another video for you guys. Today, we are here with a pretty interesting topic today. I get this question a lot on the channel, even on Twitter, but if you guys aren't following my Twitter, I talk about this frequently on the Twitter, but I don't usually talk about it on the YouTube, uh, just because majority of the topics are always gonna be on my Twitter. So if you guys haven't seen my Twitter, I recommend you guys go follow it, twitter.com slash primitiveak or x.com slash primitiveak. I can't stand the name X, it's one of the worst names I ever heard. But today we're gonna be talking about how to turn off skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. This is a question that I've gotten frequently. Some of you guys <laughs> posted some pretty funny comments on the channel, most of which I've actually responded to numerous times, but you know, the same comments oh, keep rolling what? in sometimes. So I figured it's best if we actually address it. So let's talk about it. So first things first, how do you turn off skill-based matchmaking? Well, it's pretty simple. And some of you guys probably already know the answer to it. And that is with the use of a VPN. For those that are not aware of what a VPN does, it essentially turns off skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty or hypothetically it turns it off. So I want to explain that a little bit in depth. But if you guys listen to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support as always. So we're going to be talking a little bit about some Pretty interesting topics with VPN, but today's video is sponsored by Lobby God, a VPN provider that actually does work for Warzone and multiplayer, primarily for Warzone. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, link to their information will be down below. So we're going to be talking about specifically the Lobby God service and how it actually works. So what is Lobby God? It is a gaming VPN service that increases the likelihood of gamers being dropped into easier lobbies in both Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 games. Uh, a lot of people share that frustration that COD players are experiencing with skill-based matchmaking and Lobby God's essentially going to make that just a tad bit easier for you guys so that way you can enjoy the game a little bit more because I hate, I can't stand playing the same sweats over and over, not because they're quote unquote good at the game but because they're all using the same meta weapons and especially somebody like me who's trying to provide high quality class setup videos that can be annoying to go against when you're trying to use a sniper and they're using a comp uh competitive uh rival nine and mcw class setup in pub lobbies yes i can't stand it um so why is lobby got a little bit special here so it's the first gaming VPN that actually works on all platforms under a single account and a single subscription. So you don't need to actually purchase numerous subscriptions to get it working for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. No matter what platform you're on, it's pretty much gonna work and it does not affect ping or cause packet loss like other VPNs. Now, uh, when you're using an actual true VPN, it will tank your uh, ping because you're, you're actually connecting to that server location and there is no geofence. A geofence is essentially going to ping you back to where you're located so that way you're not actually in that location of let's say australia um now to actually get this set up like i said there is a website that you can log into it's going to be called the b.lobbygod.com and once you go ahead and create an account here just to show you guys how this actually looks once you go ahead and create an account on the website you will see sort of the similar screen to what i have here and like i said there is tutorials for all platforms we're going to be focusing on pc so that way you guys can kind of see how this thing works i'm on windows 11 because Windows 11 is actually pretty goaded. If you haven't tried it out, it's pretty solid. It's going to direct you to download something called Yoga DNS. Now, Yoga DNS is a third-party application that is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know what a DNS is, it's just a domain name server. It kind of keeps track of what's going on, what addresses are going in your PC. Uh, and this is going to allow you to connect to these servers here because you will need to connect to one of these servers. Now, which server is going to be the best one to connect to? Ideally, you want to connect to one where it's in the middle of the night. So right now, Australia, it's 1.02 a.m. Uh, on uh, March 30th, I believe, over there in Australia. And once you download this, you will just restart your PC, and then it will allow you to connect to these servers. And you will need to make sure that Yoga DNS is actually on. Now, I'm not going to show you Yoga DNS because there's some private information on my networking that's in that, in that uh, application. But once you do boot it up, it's pretty much going to start automatically. Uh, it will tell you that you're on a free trial. I'll do not worry about that because you you only need the free version to make it work. And then once you do that, you could pretty much restart your game. Make sure your game is connected and that we're 
don't connect your game first, choose a server and then connect your game. So in my case, I chose Australia. And then once you do that, you boot up your game. You'll know that it's connected when you boot up the game and you go into account and networking settings that it does show that you are connected to somewhere in AZ. It usually say something like AZ or the abbreviation of whatever country you're trying to connect to. Uh, and once you do so, that's pretty much all you need to do. Go boot up a game, have some fun, and uh, you'll probably find a couple uh, body yachty lobbies in there. So hopefully you have some fun with that. Now, going on the site for the first time user, uh, you will actually get a three day free trial, which is uh, no credit card required. So that's pretty solid there. I know some of the some of the free trials out there, they ask you to put your card in. And then lo and behold, if you're somebody that's pretty dumb like me, you probably forgot to remove your card in the system. And then there all of a sudden you got charged. Not to worry with Lobby God, because they do give you a three day free trial that does not require your card at all. Once again, there is no lag when using these things because it will essentially ping you back to your location, which is what we call a geofence. And it's easy to set up usually takes just about under two minutes and it's pretty solid like i said very easy to get done here um so like i said do vpns actually work are they good and are they worth your time well if you're somebody like me that plays a lot you get tired of playing the same sweats every single time i think it's 100 worth your time and i think it's 100 worth your money as well but if you only play call of duty like i don't know let's say like three hours a week you know you're somebody that has five wives 20 kids and you don't really play this game too often like you'll probably hop on do a couple games and then you go play fortnite or something like that it may not be something that's worth your time and effort this is more or less for people that are hardcore call of duty fans so i recommend you guys give it a shot and even if you don't even if you're not a hardcore call of duty fan i recommend you still give it a shot either way because i think it's pretty solid and it gets the job done now, I want to make it very clear right here and right now. Do not, and I repeat, do not try to use this in a tournament that involves money or some type of competition whatsoever. I do not use VPNs in those settings. I only use them for just pub games, so that way I can get uh, I can get some crazy stuff going on for you guys. I do not use them in tournaments. I do not use them in anything that involves money because that is just a moral high ground for me. And not to mention, I don't even think you would get away with it because of the fact that they will PC check you before you go ahead and even start the match. So uh, you probably are not even going to be able to get away with it so just bear that in mind when you use these things but anyways guys let me know what you guys think give lobby god a shot link link to that will be in the description and i'll let you guys be the judge of whether or not this thing is actually worth your time but i personally think you guys are going to have a pretty solid fun time with it and i think you're going to have fun so let me know what you guys think link to all of it will be in the description and i will catch you guys in the next video it's your boy primitive ak signing out peace out fellas